Hello, this is Danny Kim from Canada Archery Online and today I'm actually recording from home to try and help out to flatten out the curve of the COVID-19 outbreak by practicing self-isolation. And we hope whoever you are and wherever you are, you're also being safe and not hoarding toilet paper. I myself have been implementing more of a workout routine while I work from home. Um, and I found out that my rowing machine that I have is actually really good for hanging up my clothes. Yeah. Meanwhile, other archers have taken matters into their own hands and said, if you can't go to the range, bring the range to you. Now with the very limited socializing, I'm actually recording everything all on my own here. So there's really not a lot of help that I can get. So to combat that while practicing social distance, I'd like to introduce you a new member of our crew, Copper. And today we really want to talk about um, a, a topic that a lot of archers kind of overlook or sometimes not even think about. Um, it's smart goal setting and archery journals and why they're so important. Just hold that for me, please. Okay, there we go. We typically find that having a short-term and a long-term goal uh, an archer is actually typically able to kind of see, a, have a vision of where they want to end up uh, in terms of their archery career, whether it's recreational or even competitive. And before you settle on a goal, it's very important for you to think about why it is that you're shooting in the first place. That'll help you narrow down what kind of goals uh, that you're looking for, and it will help you stay realistic within the means of your goal setting. When it comes to a goal, try to be as specific as you possibly can. Don't just say, I want to shoot well. And when it comes to identifying a goal or setting a goal, there should be three things that you should be doing to factor in to see what your goals are. The first thing you should factor in is the goal needs to be measurable. It needs to have a comparison between now and then, right? Uh, a second thing that you need to put in is a timeline. There needs to be a deadline to when you are supposed to meet that goal. Otherwise, we're never going to start it. The last thing is, it needs to be realistic. An example of a goal can be someone shooting a specific score by the end of the season at a tournament. Uh, and that's a short-term goal because it's anything less than a year, um, I typically say it's a short-term goal. Anything over the course of two years, I typically say it's a long-term goal. Again, the guidelines are just, those are just my guidelines. It could be different for a lot of other people. The archery journals are very important for the planning process and keeping your day-to-day -day, uh, track of where you are in comparison to meeting the goal. What I've been writing down in my archery journals is actually something that's been taught by a number of coaches to me. So I kind of took a mixture of that and customized it to how it fits me the best. Um, however you tweak it, it's entirely up to you. Again, mine are just guidelines, okay? Uh, after, you, after I write down my short-term and my long-term goals, I write down what my commitments are to meet that goal, to make it realistic, to make it not just possible, but also uh, probable. So it could be how many days I'm shooting per week. It could be what kind of workout routines that I've added into my week. Um, as, and it could be just how many arrows that you need to shoot by the end of that week on a typical average. Uh, those are just examples. Then on a day-to-day -day basis, I write down uh, these five things into my actual journal. I, I typically write down what I plan to do that day. I also write down um, what it is that I actually did because sometimes it's different and you could have an aha moment and just do something entirely different from what you plan. The third thing I write is how you felt about it. So it could be good, bad, ugly, however you felt, just write it down. Next you write what you've learned from it. And finally, you get to write what it is that you plan to do on the next day that you shoot. And feel free to add in any kind of other notes or comments as well. Uh, anything and everything that you find that is important, just write it all down. Now, once you figure out the commitments and the plan on how to get to your goal, it's very important for you to stick to it, especially at times when it gets frustrating and you, and you think you're not seeing any progress. Now, it might not seem like much at first, but when you do actually read back on your notes after even a season, uh, you're going to see how much you've progressed and matured as an archer. Um, this, will, this will also give you a good perspective on where you stand between you and you meeting your goal. And from there, you can reassess and you can either change your commitments to meet your goal or change the goal to make it more realistic. 
And that is how you do smart goal setting and planning. We hope you found this video to be a little useful. Um, hang in out there and when this is all over, I hope to see you at the Archer Range next. Ciao. Copper, you've been quiet for a while. What are you thinking? Danny, I have no legs. Oh my god.